Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So I wanted to show you all guys this technique uh, that you can use to maximize the performance of your buildings. Now this works using instancing. So if your uh, if your buildings are one solid static mesh, this will not work for you. You won't be able to use it. If uh, if you are using uh, modular buildings then you'll be able to use this technique so let me go ahead and show you some examples here so as you can see here at this one part in this guy's uh, scene his buildings were dropping his performance by 25 uh, down to 25 frames per second and after he applied this it brought it up to 97 frames per second now he has to re uh, simulate his procedural foliage but that won't bring it down that much so uh, if you're not uh, aware of what instancing uh, static meshes is, is uh, it's where you get a single static mesh and you send it to the GPU and you tell it every time you need to redraw this, just use this static mesh and use this material uh, and that's what it'll do. So it'll only have to reference it. It'll just redraw it. Uh, the CPU won't have to keep sending it to it. The GPU and that's how that works so uh, let me just come over here to this other map and show you okay I thought I had saved those well I was pretty sure I had but I guess not interesting okay so I've already packed to these I'm not gonna do this again but uh, I was just take my word for it that on this scene I was getting 70 frames per second and doing this brought it up to a hundred and five frames per second and basically all we're doing is we're instancing pieces that are the same now these buildings weren't designed very modular uh, so you're not gonna see a really huge uh, gain off of this the more modular the buildings are in other words like the more pieces it reuses throughout the building unlike these uh, where all the pieces were designed to only fit for that one piece for that one side of the building uh, you should stay away from modular buildings that are designed like this. Uh, you should look for ones that have like uh, small, uh, small square pieces, and you can repeat them constantly. So the more repeated pieces you have, uh, the better performance is going to be on these. And as you can see here uh, under instances, the details of this. This one has three pieces. Uh, if this if these buildings are actually fully modular uh, like they claim to be then uh, our performance gain would be well over uh, 30 frames per second so just to uh, reiterate uh, all you do is you select all your pieces in the scene and then you right click and go to create packed level actor and the technique is that you're going to instance these uh, instance each individual building so that you have the instances of those and you can move them around and place them how you want to place them uh, but outside of that you can unpack these by breaking them right here and, it, and you can also edit go into edit mode to move these pieces if you need to afterwards um, so just keep that in mind. Afterwards, you'll go to level and commit. So after you've done that and you've packed uh, these buildings, these pieces of these buildings, you're going to select the ones that are close by that are similar. And you're going to create another packed level actor. And then you'll name the, the, uh, the level instance first, and then you'll name the, the level actor. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you 
the performance gain you'll get when you do all of them. Now I, I do not recommend doing all of them like this. I recommend doing them in squares of like four maybe. Uh, no higher than that because as one guy mentioned uh, you will get hitches uh, whenever that part of the level loads. If you combine too many of them together like that, at least that's what he was saying. But the, the main thing that you want to be concerned about is when you pack all these level actors together, it's going to set the pivot point uh, in the center, which is what it should do. And what that means is that the further you get away from the center, uh, the culling of these buildings will be determined based off of the central point, not the house that's closest to you. So just keep that in mind. So they'll all uh, cull together is basically what I'm saying. All the pieces will cull together. So that's fine in most cases. Just don't do it too big. I don't know. Oh, I must have uh, unpacked these right here. Let me just open up this other map. And I'll choose not to save that. And then I'll select all these in the outline. And I'll right click and create another packed level actor. And this level actor will have all of these packed level actors inside of it. So you can pack packed level actors. Just let, let that be known. And it will instance them. I've already tested it and I'll show it to you now. So remember, I was getting 70 frames per second, and then doing this brought it up to about 105. And now, after packing all these together, you'll see that my frame rate went up to uh, about 145. So that's that's the power of level uh, of packed level actors. It automatically instances these for you. If we come in here and we select one of these, you'll see it. There's a bug with it right now, so just kind of ignore that. It's supposed to let you select each piece individually and move it inside of here, but it's bugged out and it don't let you do that. But if you move this, you'll only move the first one in the instance. So if we come down here, you'll only be moving this one. Or actually, I don't know which one that is because it's not the, the first one. Uh, it's one. It's some random one in the index. It's a bug. But if uh, in 5.1 that'll be fixed. If we move all, if we move this instance up itself, then let me just you'll see all of these pieces were instanced together, and this was done automatically for us after after we created that first one. So what you'll do is you'll select you'll you'll uh, Get your modular building, and you'll select each individual piece. Uh, you'll highlight them all together, and then after you got all of them selected, then you'll right you'll right click, and you'll go to level and create packed level actor. Then after you've done that for all your buildings, you'll place your buildings, and then you'll grab the ones that are similar that have similar wall pieces, a lot of similar wall pieces. And then you'll pack all, and then you'll pack those together. And again, I won't recommend doing that for any more than maybe four buildings at a time. Uh, but it's completely up to you how you want to do that. But as you'll see, it makes a significant impact on performance when you use this method. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, make sure to like down below and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.